Okay, Ryan, the first thing I want to talk about is your stance width. Um, the game of football, you need your feet up and under you for balance, leverage, mobility, power, all the things we talk about. However, with snapping, you need to take a basic football stance, which means a little wider than your shoulders. Probably go four to six, maybe eight inches wider, because you just need more clearance and room to make an unrestricted, uninhibited throw down through the legs. You've got wide shoulders. You've got big, thick legs. I think you're slightly narrow coming into camp. You're kind of restricting yourself. So we need to take those feet out, maybe an inch or so on each side. I also want you to try toes outward, okay? When you sit into the stance, push your knees out over your toes. You can have a lot of space between the legs without getting your stance too wide. Does that feel comfortable? Yes. The important thing is never get so wide that you have pressure in the hip flexors. It'll tighten you up, slow you down, lead to a host of other problems. Go ahead and line up over the ball and see what it's looking like right now. Generally, we want to see the knees slightly wider than the shoulders when you're set. The other thing that's important is that your load bearing of the body weight be on the quads. That's the most comfortable and explosive position from which to begin. Does that feel good? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Step over to where you were. The other things we saw coming, down, coming into camp, and this is similar to what we saw a few weeks ago in Columbus, we got the ball a little too far out in front of you, overextended downfield, okay? That tends to pull your weight forward, too much weight forward in the stance. So what you're doing to counterbalance is you're hunkering the weight back of your lower body back into the, back into the rear, and you're sitting flat-footed. Functionally, you're overstretched on the field. You're setting up like you're 6'1", when you're probably 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 what we need to do to fix that is to basically take the whole head-to-tail platform, Elevated higher off the ground by unbending the knees. You see that? Okay. And then get you balanced by positioning the knees directly over the toes. We might settle you back down a little bit if we need to. Uh, because of that overstretched and the flat footedness, when you drive with your legs, that drive is straight vertical, which means that we're not capturing lower body motion energy and channeling it towards our target. Okay. We need it back into the hips a little bit. We also don't want to T-bone the upper body energy and sap strength there. Okay. So if we get you set up right, that should take care of itself. And I'd like to see your guide hand get through the legs a little bit better, okay? We got a bit of a throw hitch, and why is that? Coming into camp, you're holding the ball on the nose. You can't start throwing it that way without getting it up off the ground and then throwing. So let's try lowering the tilt a little bit. We might have to slide the ball slightly closer so you're not overextended, okay? Go ahead and set up, and we'll three-step you the first time. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. Okay, I pull you forward. That gets knee bend to 90 or less, straightens the back, and extends the arms. Raise you up, maximizing your operating room under the torso. Then I push you back into the hips towards your target, till the heels touch the ground, knees are over the toes, you're solid on your feet. Functionally, this whole head to tail platform, let's get it down just a little bit. That's too deep on the back end. Okay, get you perfectly balanced. Does that feel comfortable? Yeah. Give it a good, quick, aggressive throw. That looks really solid. Feel okay? Yeah. Okay, might have had you down too long. Let's do that again a little faster. Ready? Yeah. Pull you forward, raise you up, push you back and in, get you nice and solid on your feet. Quick aggressive throw down and through. Not bad. Now the throw hitch thing we talked about, lowering the tilt and quickening up. I want you to lead with the arms, be quicker with the start of the snap, but also you can practice at home pulling the ball through by leading with the elbows. Pull through. See that? Pull through. Pull through, then pull through to the back of your stance. Like that. Okay? You can work on that. You can also put the ball in a box. We talked about that too. Cardboard box. If you lift up, it'll uh, it'll interrupt your snap. Okay. So you're nice and balanced. Stance is looking solid. No pressure on the hip flexors. Weights on the quads. Okay. Lead with the arms. Pull that ball through. Got it. That feel good? Yeah. Just gonna take a long time to get used to. Okay. It's gonna take some practice, but you got several weeks just before camp. Like I'm throwing a little bit hard just for that, but. Okay. The last thing you really need to worry well, to not throw high, think about keeping your knuckles on the tips of the blade of grass. Okay. Keep your knuckles close to the ground, and that'll keep you from, as you pull through, pull through low to the ground, you'll be fine. Um, you know, just be aggressive with it. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is you need to decide if you're going to be a blind snapper. Straight up. Okay, and then throw down and through. Okay, I think you're going to get more power out of that. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick one, and you got to work on it before you report to camp, okay? Pull through, knuckles close to the ground. Excellent. That's, that's all the tools you need. You got any questions? Did I hit you with that? Tiny bit, but it's going to take some time to work it out. All right. You can work on what you might want to do is practice pull, 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 throw. Okay. Okay, something like that. 
and also a cardboard box around the ball that could help you as well. All right. Any questions? No. Okay, Ryan, we're just making sure you're looking real groovy, okay? We talked about how to eliminate the throw hitch. We've reduced the uh, tilt. And like I said, if you're a blind snapper or a look back, you just need to figure it out in the next few weeks and get her done. Nothing wrong with that snap right there. You feel good? Feels good. Okay. Okay, we reduced the extreme ball tilt, sat you in a little better, got you balanced, knees over toes. Make sure you're throwing with two hands, okay? That might help you not pick the ball up so much as well. Excellent. How'd that feel? Okay. Looks good.